People ask, what is Liquid Springs? It's a hydraulic suspension system, simply put. It can be in larger vehicles like this Ford F450, uh, towing massive loads, putting a large cab over camper in the back, um, or it goes onto things kind of like this right here, which would be a shuttle bus or a Class C RV, Class A RV. It reduces the body roll, allows you to level the vehicle out. You can even pull up, stop, level it out, sleep overnight, and not be wiggling everywhere, all with that single suspension system. So, so right here we have a 2020 Ford F450 Platinum that we have just installed, both front and rear, a full liquid spring smart suspension hydraulic system. The entire suspension is hydraulic. The only real factory part that gets left is this one shock, which this is calibrated using that one shock in there to maximize the ride. In the rear, the rear springs and shocks, the big leaf pack are all gone. It's all hydraulic suspension and a multi-link in the rear now. Unbelievable system. We're finishing off the bleeding of any of the air, making sure all three comfort levels of ride are set. And uh, we're gonna go test drive it right now. With hydraulics or any liquid filled anything, you're gonna have some air. So what we're doing is we're working to get all of the air released out of the system, which will absolutely maximize the ride in comfort, sport, or tow mode with liquid spring suspension. Right now we are at what they call normal height, right? So we're gonna click down to the low and if you watch, the suspension is gonna drop. Now what it does is if we're hooking up a trailer, anything under 15 miles an hour, you can raise or lower this thing and move it. So if you're hooking up a trailer, things of this sort, right now we can make those adjustments. Or like I said, we can use the power to adjust this. So if we're on uneven ground, when we want to camp and we want to level out, we can use the system to automatically level. Now we're going to go ahead and go upward. Crazy. Well, there you go. We're going up, we're going down. The system will control all of it. It's all hydraulics. So we can't ride at this height. Again, you can only ride at what we would call the normal height. So I go down to normal and it'll automatically set us at normal and then we can go for a drive and check this thing out. We're watching the ride. The ride will continually improve. If there's air caught in the system, it's gonna make it a little bit bouncier. So as soon as we get it to where we're like, wow, this is riding super smooth, we pretty much know that we have released all the air out of the system. I'm gonna swap from comfort to normal. I always wanna see the difference in the ride. Like riding down the freeway in comfort, it's absolutely a Cadillac. So I'm gonna see if there's any difference, especially around town here with little potholes and North Idaho roads and see how it feels. It'll be a little bit, I mean, we got good bumps. It is an F450, so what we wanna do is really test it out and see how much. I mean, these things, if you don't have a load in them, they'll, they, they'll bump you around so much that you're gonna bleed your at the kidneys and your dentures will fall out and you're gonna pee blood. So um, mm -hmm. that road right there is not a great road. Um, next one is gonna be in the sport mode. Now they call it sport mode. I'm gonna call that, that's, that's your ultimate stiff mode. If you've got a lot of back and forth or cab over camper, it'd be better for like the tow haul mode. I think it'd be a better name for it, but this will really stiffen up your four corners. It's gonna reduce any body roll or your dolphin nosing that you're gonna get on the rig, so. Yeah. Press one.
yeah right now I'm just I'm gonna run this normal mode for a minute and just see how it feels we've got uh, fuel up here in the Northwest we have uh, five seasons right we have summer fall winter spring and road work and I know there's other places like that but we're gonna go drive by where our fifth season is happening right now to be a great spot to test out all three modes make sure everything's feeling good as of right now in town on even normal mode phenomenal in comparison to a standard f450 on the freeway i put it in comfort mode and, and you didn't even it was like sitting in a lazy boy so we're gonna keep testing it out driving over i gotta drop my wife's purse off so and i told her i said you know might might buy this truck i really like it and she's like the last thing we need is another new truck and uh, so I'm driving over, we're gonna drop off the purse and I'm gonna show up in the truck. She's gonna assume that I bought this truck at this point. So, and I may let it seem slightly that we did. And so you guys might witness a murder. I don't know, but we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the big Ford. So, yep. Love you. Like it? What do you think of it? I think, uh, did you buy it? Because it's awful. It's a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. It's, I mean, it's got a new suspension, new tires, it's a platinum. It's a Ford. <laughs> well, what if I own it? Then hopefully there's enough room in the back to sleep in it. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jeez. Well, Timmy, uh, will you be my snuggle buddy in the back? Because it's going to get cold. I'll always. <laughs> I'll... Wow. That's not bad. That was really nice. So we just, I was trying to find railroad tracks. We're going to go hit another set of, same set of railroad tracks, just different road. I thought, what better way to test that quick jarringness that you get when you hit a railroad track. So I'm um, going to go slap it again and see how it does. If it... I mean, if you've been in an F450, F550, or a Ram 4500, 5500, you know that without either a really heavy load or you've absolutely changed the suspension system, that it will rattle your teeth. It, this one you can almost catch air off of. Obviously, I don't want to try and catch air in a customer's truck. But I do want to go at 35, 40 miles an hour over the tracks and just see how this thing feels. Wow. That was impressive. That was nothing. So we just got back from the drive and we have bled this thing off a couple times. We wanted to drive it. We're gonna lower it back down now. We're gonna bleed it again. I have to say that I hit railroad tracks five or six different times on purpose to really test it. Anytime you get a big bump, big jounce, this thing seemed to absorb it unbelievably well, which we are wanting to improve the overall ride of an F450 day to day. But when we load this thing and you've got 20,000 pounds behind it or 5,000 in the rear, this thing can handle every bit of it smoothly and safely. If you're looking to improve your heavy duty truck or commercial vehicle and want the availability of towing and a great ride, give us a call here at CW Upfitters or look for us online, cwupfitters.com. We appreciate you guys, hope you enjoyed this.